What would you say if I told you that I designed an app? Cool, Jesse, that's rad. You designed lots of stuff, good for you. But then what if I told you that not only did I design the app, but I got the app published live in both the Android Play Store and the Apple iOS Store, and that I did it all myself without touching a single line of code, and I did it in a single weekend. What if I told you that? Well, guess what? That's exactly what I'm telling you because that is exactly what I did. I got an application live in the App Store that you can download right now. Go into the App Store, you can find my app in the App Store listings. You can download it, right? You can open it up. There's my app. It works. It looks nice. You can click on elements. Those work. I got nice push animations. I'm able to watch videos. I'm able to find links elsewhere. I have a news section. I did all of this in a weekend using Bravo Studio and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it because it wouldn't be fair for me to keep all of this information to myself. So stay tuned. We're about to build ourselves an app. Before I go too far and start getting into the nitty gritty of how I built this application, I want to take a moment and just tell you about the concept of the app, tell you where that concept came from, and give you a little bit of an understanding of Bravo Studio, a basic tour, and why I felt like Bravo Studio was a great tool to learn and use to make this concept come to life. I am a huge board game nerd. I love board games, all kinds of board games, but not the ones that your mom and dad used to play. I'm a big fan of the board games when you go into the comic book store that are over there in the corner and they're all complex and you don't never heard of them before in your life. I like those kind of board games. Modern board games is an industry that is on the rise. It's huge, it's booming, and I'm a big part of it. I love board gaming. So a few years ago, with this passion in mind, I just took a little bit of time and I slapped together a little bit of a concept design for what I would love to see in a board game exploration application. Just a place where you can discover games you like and maybe go find them. So I put that design together a while ago and it just sat there. It just sat there because at the end of the day, it's not something that's gonna make me money. The juice wasn't necessarily worth the squeeze. It's a reference app. It's something that people could go and find and I'm not gonna put the weeks and months and years into learning how to be a Swift developer to bring this thing to life and I'm definitely not gonna pay the five, 10, 20, whatever thousands of dollars to get this little reference app built and put in the app store. It's just, you know, it, it just, it didn't make sense for me. And then I discovered Bravo Studio, which is a tool that allows you to take a Figma design and basically bring it into their platform, connect a bunch of information, and then publish it onto the app stores without you ever having to touch a line of code. Are you tracking me? I didn't touch a single line of code to make this thing come to life. I love Bravo Studio. I'm a big fan of it. It allowed me to take this concept and actually bring it to life. It made the juice worth the squeeze. It was fun, it was easy, it was interesting. And I wanna show you a little bit about the program right now. So let's jump in and I'll give you a quick tour of what we're doing. All right, let's learn a little bit more about Bravo before we dive in and start ripping into our project. Uh, I'm at bravostudio.app in my browser, and this is where you're gonna learn more about Bravo and see if it's for you. If you wanna launch an app really easily, it's most likely for you. Uh, so it says it right there, from Figma app prototype to iOS and Android app, no code, legitimate. Native apps, no code that you have to touch. It's the real deal. Um, take it from me, it's the real deal. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, you can see a little bit about what it looks, but this is what I really wanna focus on in uh, this video. So here's the workflow in a nutshell if you are wondering how this whole thing goes down. You are going to design and prototype your app inside of Figma, just like you usually would. Then you're going to add in some of the Bravo tags and containers. You're gonna do the whole Bravo workflow inside of Figma. Just add some, some little nomenclature to each of your layers. Then you're going to import that into the Bravo Studio web application where we're at right now. All right, then you're able to download a previewer app where you can see what your app will actually look like and interact with it, okay? Then you're gonna see it's just gonna be static. It's gonna look the exact way it looked inside of Figma. But then you are gonna connect to an Airtable or any other REST API out there in the interwebs, and you're going to plug that information. You're gonna tell uh, Bravo Studio what information to plug into what area of your app. A lot of times it will replicate them into lists or detail pages, so on and so forth. It's gonna be really, really cool. Then, 
then you're gonna publish the thing onto the Google Play or the iOS App Store. That's actually the hardest part, and that has nothing to do with Bravo. It's just those are convoluted processes, but they got really, really great documentation here in Bravo on how to do that. It makes it very easy. It actually shortcuts a lot of the most complicated processes in getting your app live and it does a lot of the work for you. Really, really cool. Um, so there's more to look at here, but again, this is real native application. This is not some sort of janky half measure. You're gonna get a real deal application with native code. You can do all the things that native code can do. So with that being said, um, it is free to get started. All you have to do is click right here and sign up with your Figma, Google, or Apple account. I signed up with my Figma account. And once you do that, you can log in, and I'm logged into my Bravo Studio account. And here's what it looks like. It looks like um, I'm on my projects page. Here's a bunch of projects I'm currently working on. Here is our project, a finished version of our project. Um, and these are all some sample apps that I pulled from their sample app section. This is for you to learn, play with, enjoy, experiment. Sometimes the best way to learn is to experiment. Then in the data library, you have ways to pull in that API information. We're gonna be talking about that a little bit later in the series. But this API information, like for instance, this Airtable Foodies um, uh, database that we have, right? It's gonna plug into our foodies guide project. If I open that up, you can see all the screens from Figma. Okay, this is literally, we just imported this thing. And if this was our project and we wanted to make some changes, we would just have to update from the latest Figma design, just like that. So that's pretty easy. Then you're gonna have some helpful stuff like the tag list, which we're definitely gonna use, the community link that we're gonna use, and some other things as well, the ability to log out. But this is it. This is Bravo Studio. Um, that's a simple tour. That's how you get signed up and get started. It seems too good to be true, but I'm gonna tell you, it's not too good to be true. It's just too good. That's what it is. It's just too good. Well, that's it. That's a little bit about my application as well as a tour of Bravo Studio. You can go down to the description, find the link, get signed up for free and start playing with it right now and stick around because in the following videos of this series, I'm literally gonna take you through the entire process. In the next video, we're gonna dive into my Figma file. I'm gonna show you my workflow. I'm gonna unpack how you establish and set up your Figma file and get it ready to bring into Bravo Studio. And then we're gonna bind data and information, work with APIs and databases, and we're gonna publish this thing to the App Store. I'm gonna walk you through every step of the way. It's gonna be a lot of fun, stick around. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I make lots of videos about design and development and no code videos like this one with Bravo Studio. So stick around by subscribing. Hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video in this Bravo Studio series comes out. It's gonna be coming out really, really soon. If you have any questions about Bravo Studio or my application, you can leave those down in the comments. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. I hope you're making amazing things. And I hope that you take this opportunity to bring some of your concepts to life using an amazing tool like Bravo Studio. I'll see you in the next one.